So, hello. Um, this video is about something more important, but I just want to clear up some stuff that I've been noticing. So, ever since, like, Goofy Al Crystal Cave, I tried, I realized that it was a really boring, long video, and dumb people try to shorten our attention spans to this quote-unquote YouTube shorts, which, sure, it's the, sure, I don't like it, but since I heard of it, I get basically addicted to it. And that's something I can say for everyone. Which is basically causing the collapse of long videos, which is very annoying. But, though my shorts do perform a lot better, but ever since the Crystal Cave video, I tried to make it funny and better by the title and the image. But honestly, the video is like one hour long, which I can say the same about a majority of my videos. It's boring. It doesn't have any, any point to it. Even I'm, when the creator's bored watching a video, you know it gets, you know it's probably not the best. And I'm not even sure if that got a view, if anyone watched it. And if you're a subscriber, I'm sure you've been browsing on my channel. I'm sure you've seen it. But... Comment down below as long as your title name is not Grandma Bloodhead. As long as you're like an OG subscriber that isn't like added or something. And whatever, you know what I mean. But, okay. Now, bottom line. So, today is... Basically, one year anniversary. It doesn't really have to have a specific date because my channel's kind of messed up. It says I joined like 2021 or something, which is not true. At least I believe. Yeah, I joined. I made a YouTube channel on around 2022. Because if you. What, go back to my original videos, which are ghost hunting around the neighborhood. You will very much see that they are already one year old. And now that it's already almost the end of 2023, which is crazy. I haven't even posted that much content. It's almost 2024. You are, I hope that you will find this more interesting. I'm looking for more ghost hunting equipment and of recently to, this is only just saying that it's my um, one year anniversary, so. Comment down below any ideas of, I'm not sure if I already said this, but comment down ideas um, in the comments about, like, what I should do, what you want to see, or if you're a content creator and you have any tips, yeah, but, um, yeah, I, I get kind of confused when I'm talking because I don't have a script, I don't read off of scripts, because, well, I'm not that advanced. I should do it, but I don't have the time to go on a laptop, type for like six hours straight about a script, and then, like, follow it. But, yeah, um, with of recently, we're there's two things that you can be expecting um me at atlantic city which this will be interesting this will definitely be interesting i'll have a waterproof i'm planning to get a waterproof case around my phone and 
yeah you can expect me under the tides which um you and which if you don't hear any audio which is mostly expected because i'm not going to be talking underwater <laughs> i'm probably just gonna like write little um descriptions on what's happening or i'll put like editing audio over it like it's saying what i was experiencing at the moment but i don't want to give away all my plans and after that i will be going to gettysburg pennsylvania which is a very haunted location because honestly i have not had that many um ghost hunting stuff which this is very historical too i don't want to give away my exact location but you already know that i'm a pennsylvania youtuber or a YouTuber from Pennsylvania, um, but, yeah, that is, the pencil, the Gettysburg thing should be interesting, because a majority of the tour things are really boring, very, very boring. Just like Crystal Cave and what was the other one I did? I feel like I did another one. That was a really boring tour. I don't know. But we were just staring at crystals. Nothing actually interesting happened. Which I think everyone can agree on. Unless you're like 75 years old and watching this. Or like don't need that much to entertain but even people at that age like at least something interesting happening but you know i don't want to get too long in this video but the gettysburg tour will be interesting because they ha have ghost hunting equipment there and with the ghost hunt and i'm hoping that i would go again because i would go again if i had 1000 something subscribers because then i could actually make money and then and if i made interesting videos that people would like want i could afford to get better ghost hunting equipment and just equipment in general but this place should be really historical, and we're going at night, too, not to mention that. Which, Gettysburg is a city, but not the best word to say, well, city. City is a term that's kind of odd, because they're not really a city. I could base it, well, here's the funny part. I could walk around the whole i could walk around gettysburg it's like the size of a town not that big not that sketchy i mean the whole place is historical i would live there if i could um what was i gonna say if i need a script hmm hmm Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, they would already have P, pre, P, <laughs> they would already have P, they would already have P equipment already there, so uh, very good to use P for ghost hunting, <laughs> uh, but being seriously, they actually do have pre-equipment set up there. But, if this video gets like, I don't know, 700,269 views, I will, um, 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 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. If I just Gettysburg video is coming up really soon. And it won't just be a boring video where we walk around and say, and here are like this George Washington statue that got lit on fire by British troops. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't. I just made that up entirely. <laughs> um, but two wars happened in Gettysburg, which is crazy. One was the Revolutionary War, and two was um. Two was the oh. The Battle of Gettysburg during the Civil War. And keep in mind, Gettysburg didn't... I mean, Pennsylvania did not look like this. They looked something more of like this. That's right, they didn't have the side part. So... Okay, actually, I have a good idea. If this video gets a bunch of views, I will bring this thing. <gasps> I just realized what the Jenny Wade house is. I was confused what this whole thing, Jenny Wade house. Okay, I will be... There's a chance that I may be able to go to the Jenny Wade house but there might be too many rooms um so you'll be able to sleep there and a majority of the old stuff original stuff is not there but they have replicas so i will be sleeping in this hopefully which i already live in pennsylvania so i'll just be walk there no um but if this video gets more views i will probably do a um valley forge explore which valley forge is also a very is also a very 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 historical place just like Gettysburg but it's small very very small and puny but I've been there before when I was five and I activated one of the cannons and ended up um ex um launching it so far that it ended up in Lake Erie in two Canadians died. <laughs> no, but I wish. <laughs> no, but that would be pretty funny if it all did happen like that. No, but I saw cannons and I was like, what? <laughs> because my tiny, tiny, microscopic, smooth brain did not get it. So. So. Eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast. Um. Don't lick foxes. And like and subscribe if you want to. Goodbye.